Time's up. Let's do this. All right. Very good evening, ladies and gentlemen. I am Babel, and I'm bringing you a replay. This is a plate on Hunted Mines, and effectively, it's also one of the best comeback story I've got to offer. So this is a game I play with a few friends here. We got um, let's see, we got a, we got four friends. Uh, that's Yang on Jaina, Don on Chen, Zenden on Lili, myself as a Zagara. We also got some Sec Jim, and that's the pop player for our team. It's the public player, which also means it's like the solo queue. And I don't know this guy. Uh, here's the Malfurion. On the raid team, we got Gaslow being played uh, by Mandate, first time on Sergeant Hammer, Nan on Tassadar, Salpaco on Melfury, Last Mill on T, H A N, Then H S 2 on T Real. So we got a very interesting game here. So this is the living example of how you should never, ever give up in a Heroes of the Storm game. And also, this is how important teamwork may be. But there is also um, certain spaces and margin where things are just completely out of expectation. Right, so this is one of my favorite replay. We played this, I think, when the latest patch hit, and I think that that's the patch where Nova just got rewind and also just got back rewind, and also Kerrigan just lost it. And Chen here that uh, Don is playing also got a huge nerf, so it's not able to jump, or, uh, no, jump in and you know, get drunk. On obscene amount of liquor there, and yeah, you know, I have to say that we are not really good players. Um, this is the best queuing experience you could probably experience here, and here's the storm because it's very realistic, it's casual. None of us are competitive players; we're just really your average players here. You can see all three of us walking into the stun slightly earlier there, and here we're just um, having a different strategy. So, in this game, all four of us, the uh, Zagara, Jaina, Lili, as well as Chen, we're all on Skype, and we decided we are going to push the top lane because that's where the golem's going to spawn, and hold that thought, it seems like Don's a little bit of trouble here, might just take the fall, last two to three hits, is going to connect, and he goes down, I'm, again, I'm just a complete lost sheep there, and I walked into the stun, and no, no idea at all what the bottom lock is for, but yeah, I just died as well. So that's it, the golem for this game will spawn top lane. So the strategy here is um, we are actually going to try and push down the top lane as much as we can. I got my demolition work off already. I have the talent added up very nicely, uh, which means that most of those ammo are really nicely uh, you know, destroyed by myself, the Zagara here. So we adopted a strategy because we want to try and push as much as we can. You want to get a tower as soon as we can. Um, and meanwhile, Malfurion is uh, taking a bit of a solo bottom strategy. And we'll be getting the EXP for that lane there. And this lane is done, unfortunately. So the mines will open right just about now. And we are also going to go in to the underground mines. Uh, not really sure, but we are not actually going in. No, no, I'm not going in. Yang's not going in. We got two members down already. And the Abagans, Gaston, and Tassadar. Kiryu swings by. Chun jumps in. Not going to get anything done. We'll pop back out. It's ended dropping very low. We'll be fine as well. So that's it. Uh, it's pretty clear at this point in time that we're not going to get any Skull Golem. I'll hold that top because Malfurion actually went down himself. Uh, we'll be able to get some Skull there. I don't think he's able to get a kill. Gaslo is dropping really low. Might just be okay. Yep, so far so good. Uh, Chen's going to try and... Oh, Chen swinging by in that direction here. We'll spot Gaslo, which means it's going to be a free kill. And yep, on the flip side, we also got T-Roll taking off Malfurion, the popular of my team. Yang. Dropping very low, there goes the stun, last hit, might just get a kill, but Zenden swings by and heals him out really nicely. Mean on the flip side, Chen also dropping here to both Tyrael as well as Tassadar. And at this point in time, Malfurion decides to call GG for no apparent reason. We are 12th skull count, it seems like losing the first skull, Golem means a lot to him here. And uh, our team decides not to go back down, and he starts complaining. That is BM number 1 by the way. The GG, and here, here we have to complain about the seizure not coming bottom and all the bullshit there. And uh, well, just for the uh, you know record's sake, I am actually down south. I took out the ammunition here, but I pulled back. It's not so much about justification as to what I am doing, but rather it's more on the fact that he's complaining. My team, we're all in sky. We're just wondering what's this guy saying. And here we go. Uh, Yang is just explaining you should be seeking top because of the golem. Uh, Malfur straight out calls as newbie and all, but uh, yeah, it's common. It's fine. Um, so far, GG saying that uh, we're newbie. It could be a different strategy, I'm just saying. 
So he's complaining we're not taking Skull, although it's pretty evident that we are actually at the bottom. Uh, at the underground mines there. And we also didn't siege bottom. So this is where he calls us noob and I'm just asking, why are we sieging bottom? Um, Yang is calling sleep for the program and he just laughs at crazy like a <laughs> and calls us a, a lot of a joke there. But we're just explaining that the Golden Ghost stop. Yep, as evident here. And he's uh, we, I'm just genuinely, genuinely, sorry, asking why must we siege bottom? And I really want an explanation here. And this is where he says that we should let, we shouldn't let them kick this place for free. And um, I, I think it's just a little bit unhappy that the fact that he actually had to defend against a Sergeant Hammer down south. And here we go. He's actually saying that plays a smart role, but you know, defending alone down south. Although it's pretty clear at this point in time that all four of us. We are here and Malfur, my friend, with almost full health and full mana, is um, not here. And uh, yeah, I'm, and I'm again explaining that uh, Seeker is supposed to push, right? You know, it's like we, we really want to try and push as much as we can to get those ammunition down, to get us tower, get us uh, an early advantage go, going through the pushing there. And we don't have that, unfortunately. So our pathetic golem. It's uh, already addressed, goes down, there's also Siege Golem on that side, me on the flip side, uh, we got um, two men going down, Lili and Zagara myself, getting stuck out there by the root and also dying. And here Chen jumps in, you know, Chen is doing whatever he can, the stun will not connect, it's gonna be okay, somehow he does connect in the end, and he goes down also due to the spy from Tyrell, Tyrell going in, might just get a kill on Jaina here, will not get it away, and that's where Malfurion again complaining that uh, he can wait. For them to come and end is uh, ruin the match. And uh, again, I really just want to know why he wants Siege to defend. Uh, you know, we, we're just talking about that siege against Sergeant Hammer down south. He's expecting Zagar to be here. I think it's still okay in that sense. It's just saying that um, defend is offense, and this is where we're a little bit confused because it seems like offense is the best defense, not the other way around. And um. And it's also pretty arguable as to, as to whether that is actually a pretty valid point. But here we have Zen the last clutch heals there. Will not connect with the stun. Will be okay. And this is also where you have Malfurion um, getting the NC against Gaslo. You know, he thinks it's lost cost. And he complains that it can't work with retarded team. You know, so far it's all BM and BM. But on my side, I like to say that Yang hasn't been a best of character as well. It's also, you know throwing fire back at uh, Malfurion and uh, yeah this is where I tell him you know hey you stop your BM uh, and I'm not exactly right here Yang did scold him but, but yeah so Lili went in you know died and I'm just telling him that uh, we are running different strategy um, our, our lineup here it's kind of arguable as to what kind of strategy is good and some of the pro players will comment that it's not really the best way to play this game and I do agree but it's just how we play. And what I'm trying to point out here isn't really the fact that strategies don't work, but rather the fact that um, you shouldn't be up so much. And we'll see. We'll see how this game ends here. So there goes the uh, pathetic skill from Gessler. Unfortunately, doesn't connect. Dawn might just get stunned here. It's going to be okay. Nope. And here comes the flying hero. Down goes Shen. Yang might take the fall. Will go down. Now Zenden is also left here. We got Zagara also going to try to find his spot here. We're barely level 10. But as you can see, we already lost the top 4, we are also going to lose the top tower, the healing well has gone, and um, there's a lot of a disadvantage, I throw Banelings out, I try my best to defend this area, but we got 4 siege golems here. And holy cow, we're down to 30 seconds on the mines, Sergeant Hammer knocking away on the shield of the core, Chen is in a pretty good spot, uh, I think we are also defending. By the way, Don's playing a level 1 Chun, so he doesn't have the talent set directly. But we'll see how that's gonna end out, right? 3 kills against 11 kills. That's a lot of a major difference. 8 minutes in, we already lost top of everything here. I think top lane, and there goes the barrel roll. It's gonna push Sergeant Hammer all the way down. Effectively back as well. And I'd like to point out, hold that minute, I actually have to pause here. I'm sorry for doing that, but uh, we have Malfurion. Alright, he's pushing the bottom lane. He's really adamant to sticking to his strategy of pushing bottom lane as much as he can. Meanwhile, the rest of the team is just struggling to defend here. This is not a team player, clearly. But we'll see. Alright, we'll see how we handle this guy. 
It's the first time a little bit of trouble. And as you can see, we're not good players. We're not looking at that uh, healing wall destructor. But there goes a big devil wall by myself. I have to say, it looks beautiful. Everyone is down to about 50% health right there. Chen jumps in, not getting a kill at all. But uh, Alter Lee throwing out his blinding win. And down goes Tyrael. One gone already. It seems like Manny is also going to get killed by Chen. Xander dropping very low, but a good clutch shield there is going to save him again. And it seems like Salpako wants more. A little bit too greedy, but will go down. And Zagara will go in to pick up the kill at the end of the day. That's it. Four-man team wipe here. Not really a wipe, but still, you know, I call it a wipe because it's it's almost there. And we are at 7 kills against 11. And this is where Zenon starts pinging to go down into the underground mines. And we got a... Uh, we got ourselves some time. The core is at 91% health with shield nicely regenerating. So we're back down south. Back into the underground mines. Testar swings by. Uh, picks a very nice alternate route here. It's gonna help him with some skulls. It's really good. We know the rest of uh, my team we're just not going down. And again, this is a little bit arguable, but we are not actually working together. Uh, seems like everyone at this point in time is kinda like, no, not, kinda like giving up a little bit. Gaslow respawns, goes back down. Go mines. Zenden already here. And I pick up some extra skull count. We're at 34 right now. A little bit better as compared to the 12 we had. A miserable 12 we had for the first wave. And this is where we are looking at knocking onto the skull boss here. Once again, bad play on my part. Two and three. And I meet there. And here comes the rest of the train from the raid team. We are going in. It seems like Kira is going to land a judgment. Really, really well. And meanwhile, Water Elemental is going to come out. It seems like we're going to do a bit of a something there. And the Dwarf Ball is going to connect only on two, but it's not going to be good enough. There goes Chen coming in as well. Down goes Malfurion and also Sergeant Hammer. Tesla dropping very low, but on the flip side, we lost Gina. And um, we got Tesla popping the shield. Very close shield. Very nicely done. Again, very bad Bane rush of myself. Uh, but I will die at the end of the day. Smite that kills me. Zenden killing as much as he can, but out of mana at all. Needs to pull back. And Don is just doing whatever he can. To try and damage on the Tyrol there. Um, charging up the laser gas low does minimal damage. And this is where I, I was just telling Malfurion, if only he joined us, we would have been able to take a little bit more. Unfortunately, that wasn't the case there. And Tyrol jumping in, going for the kill on Lily. May just be able to get it, and it seems like it's uh, almost possible. But no mana there on Tyrol. Tyrol might just pay with a heavy price of losing his life here. He goes down at the end. And yeah, we're just clearly arguing. Man, we're just saying that it's uh, I'm just saying it's a team game. And clearly, you have to play around your team. The basic of this game is you respond to ping. Right, you have to respond to ping as much as you can. It's just the way to go. So, Malfurion finally comes back here. And uh, we are also going to try and uh, contest this Grave Golem. And that's where we might have a little bit of trouble. Yep. You know, Chen is just drinking, but because of the nerve, he's not able to heal that much. We'll also die. And Malfur is still saying that he can do this all day. And he opts to go for uh, top lane defense wall. Well, we were actually trying to contest the golem. <laughs> but no. Alright. So, Zagara, that's myself, decides to run away. Or not. And Chen wants to go for the bruiser camp, but we don't want that. And look at what happened here. Alright, so. I landed about more. I go in, I snatch up almost all the skulls there. And I pay with uh, my life, but that's okay. Zenden now effectively gonna try and run away. Yang is also in this area. Zenden tries to mount up, but unfortunately, I think they caught him here. Yep, they caught him. And uh, a little bit of mistake on his part. He should have just ran the bag up because that would have been a lot better. But there goes Tyrol with Judgment jumping in. Oh boy, this looks to be bad. Zenden dropping very, very low. One more uh, smite's gonna kill him, I think. And I think it sounds good out. There we go. Down goes Zen, and that's the Lili. And we are effectively down by half a level so far. Melfurion still you no know, taking forever to kill the siege camps. And yep, they do get it at the end. The Golem already spawning and now knocking on a bottom fort. Do you know we already lost the top four, so that's Baron there. And a down south is only Chun here. I respawn, and we also got uh, Lili respawning in just about 15 seconds. But the golem already doing a lot of work against the board. And this is a 56 skull count golem. Imagine if I didn't steal those skulls there. Mean on the flip side, I think our pathetic golem is just doing whatever he can on the top lane. And we got Chen dropping very low. Sight steps away the stun just nicely. Sapako dropping quite low as well. 
And uh, I'm buying whatever time I can, landing those Brutalists there as much as I can as well. And that goes end of the game with the uh, Junk of a Thousand Cups healing up most of everyone that's in his vicinity. Malfurion is just playing AFK at a point in time. Do not, he wasn't dead, he was just AFK! And the Golem is at about 40% health right now. We are all just doing contests, he spawns up a, a tree end there. And uh, we're still knocking on it. The core is still with the shield up, Sergeant Hammer is in his good area. And Malfuria with Twilight, uh, no it's not Twilight Dream, my bad, it's the, uh, it's the healing skill there. Not able to get anything away, it's not healing anyone in fact. And the Ball connects only on one, there goes the barrel to try to knock Sergeant Hammer back. The stun's gonna buy some time, it seems like is gonna drop, maybe not. Hammer effectively may just go down, but I think Tessada will go down first. No, okay, we're just too far away. And Hammer is still quite fine right now. We got also Gaslow coming in, uh, landing the ultimate. Won't catch only the uh, Malfurion. And Chun still wants to give Hot Pursuit onto the uh, the Hammer, but here comes Tassadar that's gonna buy some time for Hammer. Lens one attack, that's about it. Gaslow drops at the end. And we are defending against some um, catapults there in the top lane. The bottom lane is completely uh, destroyed. Nothing's left here. Alright, so other than the core, we got nothing left at all. And this is where they think they can, act, like, they can actually end the game. And they're gonna do whatever they can here. Hammer, sieging up. Yang going in for the fairies. Like I said, I know, uh, some of the players we have here haven't even played this game for more than a month. So they're very, very new. But they, but they at least listen to um, the, the pings there. Sapako with those seals there. Hammer gets a good heal, but he just overextended here. There goes the string ray. Hammer dropping very low, and um, I'm also able to land some extra Brutalist there as well. What the element that comes out, seems like Malfur is going to drop here as well. Malfur goes down, here comes the Flying Tyrell, there goes the Judgment. Yang a little bit of trouble there, Zender with those Cloud Chills again, making sure Yang stays alive. And that's the Jaina, she's the only assassin we got so far. Tassadar is going to try to run away. Mino on the flip side, Tyrell seems like he's going to take the fall, he goes down. Yang will not die here. Alright, he's going to be okay. On the flip side, we have Gaslo respawning. Mines opening in 20 seconds. They took a really, really bad bet here. And this is where the comeback starts because we have one level advantage. Alright, straight off off the bat, at the beginning of this game, we were already behind. But here, you can see that we are actually a little bit ahead. And we have also got all the time for the mines here. That's fantastic. So it's interesting to see that Malfurion, again, not responding to pings, not following the plan. Alright, he may disagree with the plan, but he's just not following a plan, which results in us not really acting as a team. I decided a little really cute egg here. And uh, I don't know what I'm doing, but yeah, we're just going back to the underground mines. They got 33 skull count right now. Um, great team is just pinging for the core. Uh, Malfurion decides to take on Gaslow, and he just dies miserably. I mean, come on! We all know that there is no way Malfurion could win Gaslow. Um, Gaslow decides to go for... No, okay. Not going for the siege camp. And meanwhile, we're already at about 62 skull count down in the underground mines. I pop back home, everyone pops back home. We know we have to defend this right now. Uh, Mutal is spawned against Gaslo. He's taking a little bit of damage right there. Uh, Hammer is coming from behind. And it seems like uh, the Baneling Rush is knocking against the turret there. Is there anything else? And they're just not functioning as a team right now, but it seems like Nod's dropping really low 50% now. The Mutal is again doing some work. And here comes a flying hero again onto myself. He knows I'm also doing majority of the damage here. And we have also got Chen jumping in behind uh, onto a very nicely protected Sergeant Hammer. But I guess the barrel that's gonna, that's gonna cause some segregation. And a three man devout more is gonna really work well. So they get completely segregated. And down goes Gaslow. Hammer's lost for, for good here. He's also gonna die. And on the flip side, they, they chase me, but they're now able to pick up the kill. Chen jumps in, goes for Tassadar. Brief fire not used, but it's gonna pick up the kill. No mana there whatsoever. Uh, Zender dropping very low, but still gonna be able to land those clutches really well. Cell Paco goes down as well, and it seems like Tyrell is the only guy alive right here, and he jumps in and he dies. So that, ladies and gentlemen, is a team wipe for my team. Team Babel, all the best. But hold it, so let's pause here. Let's check the stats. All right. Um, Malfurion is the best in siege damage, but guess what? I'm the best in hero damage. So that's why I think Tyro jumped on me in the beginning there. But a little bit less analysis on the place there, but a little bit more as to um, you know how we're turning this around. So four man reacting really, really well. Malfurion, and the reason why he's got so much siege, if you look at it, is because he took down the fort. That's all. The top lane is pushed by the golem, nothing else. Uh, we wanted to go for the siege camps. 
but Chen is already down in the underground mines with Lili. Even then, our rogue team don't really have good communications. I, I, half the time, we are lost in Skype arguing about what, should, what we should be doing. And in fact, I think that for this game, we are we were already giving up. Okay, I would say never giving up, but on the brink of giving up. So this is where morale is at an all-time high. We want to do whatever we can. I'm trying to push out the top lane a little bit. I know they don't know they don't really need me down south there. And uh Yang now is gonna join them. I'm gonna do whatever I can to hold the top lane, but uh, effectively I uh, won't be able to hold long here, so I decided to go back down into the underground mines to join them. But uh it seems like they already got the skulls there. That's a waste of my time. So even if we are on a VOIP Skype, lots of miscom and stuff. Malfurion meanwhile really really insisting on the bruiser camp. Will not get it. Lands a good stun, you know, tries to sneak in auto attack there. And Zenden calls for defense. Tassadar with the shrink rent the slow movement speed. Hero with the judgment flying in. Malfurion healing as much as he can, but not gonna have the speed to run away. And it's gonna be a kill on the pop there. 64 seconds before he comes back. Zenden calling that if we win the team fight, we win the game. So the Zero Skull Count Golem is really, really easy to take out. Bailing is gonna take off 50% of his health already. And the moment Sergeant Hammer siege up, we got Chen pushing him away. And again, setting up a good area for defense here. Just making sure everyone's as spread out as possible. Tiro taking a lot of damage there, coming from Jaina. Blizzard doing a lot of work. And uh, seems like the uh, burst is not gonna do anything. Good side step away from Gessel's ulti as well. And there goes a three man bomb ball again against the Ray team. Sergeant Hammer doing whatever he can against the core. Core dropping 56% health right now. And Mandate also might just die here, but no one killing the healing war. That's a big problem. But now it's matter Gaslow goes down. Malfurion's down as well. And Hammer managed to throw in a lot of damage along with the Siege Golems. Up now here, 10% health. Down goes the Tesla, but we still have the Siege Golem working with. And that's 1% health on the core. One freaking percent health right there. Holy cow, it's just not dead yet. We are still gonna win this, boys. And it seems like the uh, Siege Golems are done. We're pinging, man. Our Siege, our Skull Golem, sorry, he's just pushing the top lane as much as he can. It's down to still about 70% uh, health right now. Knocking on the fort. Yang with the quick pony ride already here. And it seems like we are definitely able to get a fort. 26 seconds before the whole team respawns, Tyr is already out, Malfurion strolling as well. Chen decides to defend because it's one freaking percent. You cannot hope they have no one defend there. So four versus five again. Down goes the tower, down goes the healing well. Golem knocking on to the core. Who is gonna win this game? It seems pretty possible for them to still win. Tyrell already on route back to our base there. Golem still knocking on. And Malfurion now healing, you know, he can't heal the Golem, so I've got no idea why he's popping the healing right now. But as you, that goes Blizzard, doing a lot of work against Malfurion, car dropping to about 50%. Tyrell is already there, Barrel Roll knocking him away, he's still not able to take on the shield. Down goes Gaslo, and Skull Golem doing a lot of work, 23%, 17, 15 right there. And Malfurion lets a good stun, but that goes Lily with the heal and the shield from Tessada, but the core goes down! And the raid team loses just like that, what an insane game! And at the end of the day... Two word is gonna summarize this whole game. That's a freaking team game. It's as simple as that. You respond to pings, and and I think the message that I'm trying to bring across across here is the fact that we we are really just uh, trying to tell you guys that you know you never give up. Sometimes you meet with scrubs, you meet with uh, you know, scumbags on your team, but still at the end of the day, it's about making sure you focus on the right thing, and that's focus on winning. It's not so much about who joins your team, but rather how you make it work. So for this game, we were not able to make him to follow our strategy. And uh, make him follow our strategy, that's a problem we have throughout this game. Alright. He was so adamant about pushing the bottom. Uh, so adamant about uh, his siege damage. And end of the day, he is just not responding. He wasn't there half the team fight. Alright, he heals nobody. And that's uh, that's a huge problem. So we all report on him, but that's 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 up to Blizzard. But at the end of the day, we really really like to advocate that the BM is not needed, right? It is not needed. You don't have to BM. You can always play this game really really well uh, if you just try and focus on the right things. So moral of the story here is very simple. It's a team game. The game is very simple. 
stick to that, respond to pings, and uh, never give up. Losing the first wave of Golem doesn't mean you know losing the game here, clearly. And that's the lesson for all of us today. That said, I am Babel. Hope you guys enjoy this uh, this random rant here. And if you have a if you have an epic replay of your game for Heroes of the Storm, do send it to us here, and I will try my best to give you guys coverage. That's it. Hope you guys enjoy, and have a great day, night, wherever you are. Um, it's really late here. I'm actually going to bed, and I'm also a little bit sick here. So do apologize if you hear that my voice is a little bit off. I have a very, very s you know, blocked up nose. And that really sucks. But yeah, awesome game, guys. So, yep, see you guys around.